Hello everyone. Welcome to a 45 minute yoga flow with Ashley. Me, I will be your instructor today. Um, as always, I'm going to drop a playlist into the comment section of the video or into the description of the video for you to listen along, play along as you flow. I prefer to flow with music. I'm going to be listening to a playlist that you won't be able to hear, but it will be the same one that is linked to this video. Um, Again, I have some blocks if you would like to use them. I prefer blocks, but if you're like, no thanks, no worries, I'm going to show a bunch of different ways to not have to use blocks. We are going to get moving today. So without further ado, find child's pose. You can go ahead and move your blocks for now. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Open up your knees nice and wide and then just let your forehead rest heavy on the ground. And then right away begin to deepen your breath in through the nose and out through your mouth yeah, a couple more in Yeah, think about just each exhale is softening your hips back towards your heels. Yeah, each time you breathe, just gently, gently melting closer into the floor. From here, we're going to walk our hands over to the right, going as far as you need to to enjoy the stretch. Well, back to center and switch sides over to the left. Over to the left. Gentle breaths. Mm, come on back to center. Yeah, press your hands into the floor. And then we're just going to crawl forward into a little puppy pose. So legs are just going to come up 90 degree bend in the knees as the hips stack over the knees and your forehead, your chin or your chest will come to the ground, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're opening up through the chest. Yeah, and creating a little bit of flexion in the upper thoracic spine here. Yeah, each exhale is going to sink you. Just a little bit deeper. Yeah, maybe you even lift up so the chin is on the ground, your forehead is down. Beautiful. Slowly, slowly, all fours. Yeah, stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale to arch your spine, lift the gaze for your cow pose. And exhale to round for your cow. Ooh, hear those cracks. Let them come, y'all. Inhale, arch, and lift. Exhale, round. Ooh, chin to chest. Move through this at your pace. At this point, lips are sealed. Our ujjayi breath is on, our breath of fire, right? We're going to get a little warm as we flow today, so let that oceanic breath be deep. Beautiful. Good. Optional. Turn fingertips to face knees. Stretch out through the wrists. This can feel so, so good if you're sitting at a computer all day. Yeah. Get those wrists nice and stretched back and forth. A couple more breaths here. Nothing crazy, y'all. Good. Fingertips face out. Side to side. Side to side. Hmm. Nice. And then come back to center. Fingertips pressing forward, facing down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward. Ah, facing dog upside down. V. Move. Yeah, little movements, big movements. Right? This is my first down dog of the day. So, what do I need? Right? What can I do to make my 
body feel a little bit more open here. Maybe just a bend in the knees. It can be big or it can be small. Or maybe you simply choose stillness. Pushing those armpits towards each other to create just a little bit more space in the upper back. Yeah, maybe you press your chest back a teeny bit further towards your legs. Mmm, feel juicy in those upper arms. Next inhale is going to lift you high up on your tippy tippy toes, and then exhale, drop your heels over to the right. Drop your heels to the right here. I really like to take a bend in my right knee, right? Push all the weight into my left foot and stretch the left IT band. And then inhale, come back to center, and then we'll switch sides. But again, from here, legs can be straighter. You bend that left knee, push into the right foot. Good. Inhale high on your tippy tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, press your chest all the way back to your thighs. Create a spring like shape with your body. Inhale, high push up. Ooh, stack shoulders over wrists. You might have to move the toes. That's okay, right? We want heels directly over toes. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Ooh, untuck the toes. Press the legs firmly into the floor. Arms right at the bottom of your rib cage. Inhale, cobra. We're going to do three of these. Exhale, lower. Little to no weight in the hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Last one, lift. Inhale. And lower. Exhale. Ooh, good. Tuck the toes. Push up. Breath in. Down dog. Out. In through the nose. Open your mouth. Ah, let it go. Beautiful. Walk your hands to your feet at the back of your mat. Keep the feet about hips-foot distance. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Rack. Crown of the head to the floor. As you can see, the knees are bent. Be generous. Generous with the body. First forward fold. Go easy on yourself. Good. Shake your head no. Shake it yes. Let something go here. Take one more breath in. And release. Let the hands go to the floor. Crawl it out. High plank once more. This time, bend the elbows, chaturanga. You can drop to your knees or keep them lifted. I'll drop to my knees this time. Good, lowering halfway down. Untuck the toes. Pull the chest through, upward facing dog. Urdhva Dandasana. Oh, that's not right. Downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. That's my bad. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. My bad, y'all. Messing up my Sanskrit today. Bring your feet together to touch. Reach the right toes up. Take a bend in your knee. Good, breathe here. In and out, tuck your knee to your nose, step it through. Left foot meets right, forward fold. Yeah, we're starting to move now. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, rise to stand, arms reach, gaze lifts, palms touch over your head. Exhale, hands to prayer, Samasti so uh, Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good, inhale. Sweep up, arms up, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Bow. Upward facing dog. Flat back, inhale. Hands to the floor, step it back, high push up. Yeah, drop to the knees, keep them lifted. Yogi's choice, lower down. Pull the chest through. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. I got it right that time. Woo. Hips to the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Ooh, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Ooh, it's beautiful. Left toes are going to lift high to the sky. Take a bend in your knee. Open your hip. Mm, yeah, you can circle the ankle. Do what you got to do here. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Crunch. And then step. Right foot meets left. Forward fold. Flat back. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Rise. Inhale. Swoop it up. Gaze up. Exhale. Samasthi to he. Hands to prayer. Good. Stay for a breath. In through the nose. Out. 
put another one in. Empty. Ah, let that go. Arms by your sides. Ah, let's flow. Bend the knees, swoop the arms up. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Yeah, sit into those sits bones, yeah? Reaching them down towards the floor. A little rotation of the pelvis down to the ground. Deep bend in the knees. If you can, lift through the upper spine as you reach upward. And then exhale, bow and fold. Let it go. Ah, shake it off. Flat back breath in. Hands down, step it back, high push up. Into low. Peel the chest, up dog. Hips to sky, down dog. Reach the right toes up nice and high to the ceiling. Big step through for a warrior two. Back foot spins down, arms go wide. Huh, pause here, yeah? Fingertips reaching away from each other. Deep bend in the front knee. Take an inhale. And exhale. Flip the front palm reverse, reach it back. Exhale, forearm to thigh. Forearm to thigh, left arm is gonna reach up and over your head for the front of the room. We're gonna do that a couple times. Inhale, reverse, deep breath in. Exhale, forearm to thigh. One more reverse, inhale. Forearm to thigh, exhale, reach forward. Ah, good, deep breath in. Exhale, low lunge twist, left hand down, right hand high. If you have a block underneath the left hand is where it's gonna go. Good, reaching up, gaze up. And then exhale, go ahead and let that block go. If you grabbed it, hands to the floor, swoop those right toes nice and high. Take a bend in your knee, open up your hips, stay here. Exhale, chaturanga, lower. Good, up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, hips to sky. Exhale, deep breath in. Empty, let it go. Nice, swing the left toes up. Good. Big step through, warrior two. Spin the back heel down, open up. Ah, hi. <laughs> Arms reaching away from each other, yeah? Nice deep bend in the front knee. Flip the front palm in reverse, breath in. Forearm to thigh, breath out. Reaching forward, gazing up. Again, inhale, reverse, reverse. Exhale, forearm to thigh, reach forward. Huh. One more, inhale. Forearm to thigh, exhale, reach forward, breathe in. And exhale, right hand down, block if you need it underneath that right hand, left hand twisting upward. Hmm. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands down, sweep those left toes up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. And exhale, chaturanga, knees down or not. Pull the chest through, up dog. Hips to sky, down dog. Good. Two more times through that, a little modified on the, as we go, okay? So listen up. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out. Good. Right toes lift. Big step, warrior two. Just like before. Good. Flip the front palm reverse. Inhale. Just once, form to thigh. Exhale. Reach forward. Good. Twist, left hand down, right hand high. Pose to pose, right? Hands down, three-legged dog, right toes lift, bend the knee. Option, stay here or flip. I'm going to stay for now. And then exhale, you chaturanga, lower. Pull the chest, up dog. Hips to sky, down dog. Deep breath in. Empty out. Nice, y'all. Left toes lift. Warrior two. Ooh, spin open. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Reverse breath in. Forearm to thigh, breath out, side angle. Low lunge twist, right hand down, left hand lifts. Hands down, three-legged dog, left toes no, nice and high. Bend the knee, open the hip. I'm gonna stay, you can flip if you like. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Urdhva, up dog. Auto, down dog. Beautiful, one more time, all right? We got this, right toes lift. Warrior two, right? Starting to feel a little warm. Open out, fingertips away from each other. Keep them long as you reverse, inhale. Forearm to thigh, exhale. We're gonna hang here for a couple breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. One more in. And exhale, left hand to the floor, right hand to the ceiling, low lunge twist, pause. Start to spin to the outer blades of your feet. Ooh, one of my favorite poses. Drop that left hip to the floor, reach for the back wall. Mm, feel that stretch on the right hip. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, inhale, lift. 
exhale lower one more lift exhale hands down three-legged dog bend the knee this time if you want to flip she's all yours reach up and back and then in one breath exhale you come all the way to your chaturanga up dog down dog <laughs> one more side to go y'all feels good rough toes are gonna lift big step through warrior two arms go wide ah reverse inhale Forearm to thigh, let's hang here. A couple breaths, a couple breaths in. Empty. Mm. <laughs> One more in. And exhale, right hand goes down. Stay, spin the back, spin onto your outer blades of your feet, right, just like before. Left hand to the back wall. Feel the stretch right in that left hip. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, you lower. One more lift, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, three-legged dog, swing the left toes back, bend the knee. You stay, you flip, yogi's choice. Ooh. Good, unflip, one breath, exhale, takes you down, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. <laughs> Woo, three breaths right here, three breaths right here, in. Through the nose. Beautiful, y'all. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, step, jump. Top of your mat. We'll meet in a flat back and a fold. Good. Let's close out our modified sun B with a chair pose. Inhale, arms lift. Stay here. Exhale. A little lower. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Separate your feet. I'm going to find a second rag doll. This time, opposite elbow on top. Crown of the head towards the floor. Shake your head yes. Huh. Shake it now. Keep releasing towards the ground. Mm. Take an inhale and then exhale. Ha. Ah, maybe stick out your tongue. Let it all go. Release the bind. Heel toe the feet together to touch. Flat back. Breath in. Hands down, chaturanga, step or jump back, lower down, up dog, down dog. Good, right toes are gonna swing up, full breath in, exhale, knee to nose, crunch. Inhale, lift, exhale, crunch, touch your right tricep with your right knee, inhale, lift. Touch your left tricep, you're gonna straighten your right leg out and take a fallen triangle. Left hand is gonna lift up. Yeah, reach back, push upward with the hips. And then exhale, left hand goes down, right toes lift, bend the knee, flip your dog. <laughs> Ooh, fun little transitions for you today. Good, unflip, side plank, right side, right side down, left side stacks, last little push. And yeah, maybe you float the left leg. I automatically go into tree legs, but you do you, y'all, you do you. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Ooh, Urdhva, inhale. Auto exhale. Right toes lift. Big step through. Low lunge, drop to the left knee. How are we doing? <laughs> okay. I'm sweating, so I'm right there with you. Don't you worry. Good. Deep bend in the front knee. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Right. I always put these in my classes, and I'm like, let this be what it is. Right? A little recovery. A little way to whew, just reset. Good. Option here, do you lift up your arms and grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and just a little lateral flexion over towards the right side of the room. Inhale, come back to center. Go ahead and switch sides. To the left. Hmm. Inhale, come back to center. Both arms lift. Exhale for your half splits. I love some blocks for the half splits, all right? Go ahead and frame the outside of your right foot. Go wherever you need to go, whatever height you need, right? Extension through the front leg. Belly is towards that right thigh. And breathe, right? Imagine breath going to the back of that right hamstring. Hmm. Hmm. Good. We're going to take a little twist here. Nothing crazy. 
You can keep your left hand on the block, left hand on the ground, and twist up. Right hand goes up. If you would like a challenge, bring the left hand outside the right leg. Ah, yeah, feel the twist right in the belly. And then exhale, let go of the block. Start to re-bend the knee, pop up on your back toes. Good, pause here, right? Almost like a runner stance, right? Like you're about to sprint off the block. Good, push into that right foot. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Launch into an airplane. Ah, yeah, take up tons of space. Hmm, breathe. Hmm, good, start to bend that left knee. Rise to stand, single leg mountain, good. So that left knee is tucked in nice and tight. Good, breathe in, arms lift. Breathe out, airplane. Hmm. Fly. Good. So slowly land in a crescent lunge. Keep that left knee up as you reach your arms up to the ceiling. And then pause. Yeah, just notice, right? Play with lifting and lowering that back heel. Notice as you do what engages, right? The left leg, whoo, when you lift it up, should feel really fired up. And when you lower it back, a lot of weight in the right leg, right? So find that nice sweet spot for you. And then exhale, bring your hands to prayer. We're gonna take a twist. Left hand is gonna, left elbow is gonna go outside your right thigh. Now, so many options here. You can open up your arms. I'm just gonna stay with prayer hands today. I'm feeling a little bit tight. You do you, right? You do you. Good. The key is to try and stay good. Engaged if that left leg is lifted. If you wanna to drop to that left knee, always an option. Good, I'm gonna lift up. Take one more breath in, twist up. Exhale, warrior two. Ah. <laughs> you might need to straighten that right leg. I pretty much always do, right? Deep bend in that right knee, fingertips reaching away from each other. Ah. Good. A little bend in the elbows to just notice how a lot of times we carry tons of tension in our shoulders, right? So just kind of hmm. straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in, hands to hips. Wide leg fold, crown of the head to the floor. Good, shimmy and shake. Go where you need to go with this. Little twists, always an option. Good. Maybe you grab the ankles, maybe you grab the big toes, right? You go where you need to go. Breathe three, three, two, one more in. Exhale, deep bend in the left knee, a little skandasana. Left heel stays grounded the whole time, no matter what, shoulders are back. I'm still here, I'm still with you. Exhale, crawl to the top of your mat, low lunge twist, left hand down, right hand reaches high. Good, yeah, nice long flow on this side. Exhale, half moon, right side, right hand goes down. If you need a block, balance, left side is floating upward. I think flexing that left foot up, right? She's alive, she's awake. Hmm. Good, full breath in. Exhale, drop it down. Thumb stand, rise. Switching your legs, left leg on the ground, right knee to chest, eagle. Grab right leg over left, right arm up there. Ah, and just hang, right? We're hanging. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly unwind. Right knee, chest. Arms lift. Hands to prayer. Kick your right foot into your right hand. Dancer's pose. Lift up. Reach for. Breathe. Hmm. And then slowly release, airplane once more. Ha, ah, fly. Good, step back, hands to the floor. Swing the left toes up. Three-legged dog, and we're just gonna pick up on the left side, shall we? Exhale, knee to nose. Hmm, inhale, lift. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, right tricep, straighten the leg, up and back. Ball and triangle. Push with the legs, reach back with the right hand. Exhale, right hand down, left toes are gonna lift. Bend the knee, flip your dog. Right, we got this, hips to the sky, reach it back. Unflip, side plank, left side, right side stacks. Ah, yeah, feet can stay on top, always an option, drop to that left knee, y'all. Take what you need, modify if you need to, okay? Good, breathe in. Hands down, chaturanga, breathe out. Erdva, inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana, exhale, left toes lift once more, low lunge, <laughs> arms up, or down, right, you do you, or blocks, <sighs> yoga, it's about discovering, right, discovering what, what's working for you, I used to hate using blocks, I used to be like, I don't need blocks, and now I'm like, give me more, right, the highest level, Right? You just got to take what you need, right? And notice if there's that ego coming at you, being like, I'm good, I can handle this. When in reality, it might be kind of nice to just like chill out for a little bit, you know? Not full send every time. Inhale your arms up. Good. Grab a hold of that right wrist first with your left hand and just reach over to the left. Arms lift. Switch sides. Hmm. Yeah, feel the heart rate start to slowly go down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale for your half splits. Blocks, great option. 90 degree bend in the back knee. Hmm. Two, three. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're twisting, right? Just like we did on this side. Right hand can stay on the ground. Left hand can twist up. If you would like that challenge, the hand is going to come outside your left leg and you twist. Try to keep that left hip square towards the floor, right? Don't, don't, don't want it popping out towards the left. Nice and square. Oh, exhale down. <laughs> but you might fall like I almost just did. Okay. Bend the knee. Hands to the floor pop up, right? So we're playing with that track stance, right? Like we're launching off of the starting line. So breathe here, push into the left foot, and then fly, airplane. <laughs> Lots of balancing postures today, right? Working on the core, working on the balance. It's exactly what we're going for, moving with control, okay? A little bit of lift. And then slowly draw the knee in. Single leg mountain, hey. <laughs> Arms up. Exhale. One more in. Exhale, hands to prayer. Swing it back. Airplane. Once more. Fly just for a breath. With control. Press and lunge. So lightly. Arms up. And then play. Lowering and lifting that back heel. Right? Notice what happens. Find that sweet spot where you feel like both legs are doing their jobs. Right? Keep that sweet spot as you twist. Hands to prayer. Right elbow goes outside of left thigh. Hmm. And again, arms can open. Right? You go where you need to go. I'm going to keep my hands at prayer today, but if there's another option you want to take, take it. Good. Stay for one more breath in. Twist up. Warrior two. <laughs> Good. Bend elbows, right? Soften the shoulders. Give them a break. Straighten the left leg. Turn the toes in. Hands to hips. Wide leg fold number two. Bow. To the ground you go. Hmm. Start to find a flat back. Hands are just going to come right in front of your face. And then start to bend into that right knee, just like we did on the other side. Skandasana, right heel stays grounded the whole time. 
Okay, play with that ankle mobility. Hands can stay on the floor, they can lift up. The goal is to keep your chest high, right? We don't want hunching, we want lift. Lift, lift. Exhale, crawl to the top. Low lunge twist, right hand down, left hand high. Just like on, we did it on, earlier in our class, right? Legs are engaged, twisting upwards. Preparing for your half moon, right? A little bit of a more difficult launch than before, but you've got this. Push into the left leg, swing upward. See, I got a block underneath my left hand. If you need it, take it. If you don't, don't. Hmm. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale, reach up. Exhale, let go. Let go of the block. Rise to stand. A couple more postures. We got this. Yes. How are we doing? Good? Good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Balancing on the right leg. Draw the left knee up. Swing it over and around. Left arm up. Eagle. Garudasana. Breathe. Mm. Yeah. Notice if that left hip is like twisting forward. See if you can send it back. You want the tailbones to be like headlights towards the back of the room. Beautiful. Unwind. Knee to chest. Swing the left foot behind you to your left hand dancer's pose. So back bends, legs are working, right? Kicking upwards as you lift upwards, right? It's not just kind of dead, it's engaged. Mm -hmm. Breathe. And then exhale, let it go. Airplane, fly it out. Last posture here. Exhale, step it on back. Right toes are gonna lift. This time we lower, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, deep breath in, deep breath out, good, drop to your knees, sit back onto your heels, shoulders down and back. Just a couple minutes here, a couple moments, not minutes, just a couple moments to just reset the breath. Right, these moments of pause during class are the opportunities to check in. You notice what feels lighter than when you first came onto your mat. Maybe smile. Okay. Good. Plant your hands across the ankles. A little bit of work, and then we're chilling, okay? Like the smallest bit of work you ever saw, okay? Core work. Navasana, boat pose. So, this is a version of boat. This is also a version of boat, right? This is also a version of boat, right? This is all. So many versions, you get the point. <laughs> so take what feels manageable, all right? I've got the clock going. We're holding this for one minute, all right? We're gonna add in a little pizzazz in between, but one minute, that's the only amount of core work that we're doing today, okay? So lift the legs if they're lifted, right? Feel the whole core engage. No hunching of the shoulders, shoulders back. Breathe. Good, inhale. Bring your hands to prayer. Exhale, low boat. Straighten everything down. Breathe. Inhale, high boat. Ah, hey, back. Chilling. Hang in, shoulders back, down. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat. <laughs> Exhale, low boat. One more, inhale, high. Exhale, low, hold 10, nine, flutter kick. Six, five, four, three, to ah, release. <laughs> 60 seconds, you can do it, no big deal. Grab the knee, sway side to side. Hmm.
Hmm. We're going to come right into our back bends. Three today, okay? We're just going to start with a bridge. I'm going to start with a supported bridge, okay? So if you have a block or something that's sturdy like this, you're just going to plant the feet down, right? You want to be able to brush the backs of your ankles with your fingertips. Brush, brush. And then lift through the hips. Take the block. Put it right underneath the sacrum. Whatever height feels okay, right? Lowest. I like, I prefer this height. If I'm going to be going into a, a Setu Bandhasana bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel, I usually like to start with the second level. Breathe here for five. One more in. Empty. If you've got a block, let it go. If you don't, just drop the hips down. Good. Swing the knees side to side. Huh. Beautiful. Plant the feet. Bridge, say to Bandasana, or if you're ready for a wheel, go on at it. I'm going to take a, another bridge for now. Lift the hips. Good. Again, being able to brush. You want to be able to grab. You just want to be able to brush the backs of your heels. Option, interlace the fingers. Tuck those shoulder blades underneath your spine. Breathe three. Hmm. Breathe two. Hips higher. Press into the legs. One. Let it go. Swing the knees side to side. Side to side. Last little push here, y'all. Feet flat, hips lift, bridge like we did, or wheel, okay? I'm going into wheel. Let's do this. I'm not going to think too much about it. <laughs> We're just going to go. Push into the legs. Press upward. Yeah, if you can, maybe walk the hands a little bit closer to your heels. Breathe here. Five. Push into the legs. Three. Two. Breathe in. One. Lower it down. Feet together, knees apart. One hand to your tummy, one hand to your heart. Supta Bhakanasana, rest. And here, see if you can simply notice the texture of your breath. Like, how does it feel? These first few breaths might feel a little bit rough, right? You're rubbing your hand on sandpaper a little bit. For time, it might start to soften. Okay, concentrating on each exhale. Coming a little bit more gentle. Slowly draw those knees nice and tight into your chest one at a time. And just hmm, give yourself a little hug. So you sway side to side. Your eyes can be open or Maybe they're closed. From here, you're just going to plant your left foot down and hook your right ankle over your left to make a little figure four. We're going to take a supine figure four for our final hip opener. 
go ahead and stay right here. This is what's comfortable for you. But if you want to go one step further, you're just going to lift your left leg and reach through that little hole in your legs. Grab a hold of the underside of your left thigh and pull, right? But we don't want to be straining, right? We're starting to slow down. So if this is too much, come back here, okay? But if you can handle this and feel, right, like the breath is still slowing, draw the leg in. In these recovery postures, the opportunity to soften is everywhere. Maybe in the muscles of your face, in your jaw. Right? We're not working the things that don't need to work right now. We're letting them rest. Go ahead and switch the legs. Put the right foot down, left ankle over, right thigh. Okay, stay right here. It's perfectly fine. And if you'd like to take it a little deeper, reach under and pull. Again, where can you soften, right? The practice of yoga is asking ourselves, how can I be okay? Right? What can I do to be more okay where I am right now? I, mean, I don't have to make it perfect. I think I want to just want to make this okay. Hmm. Slowly release. Last little push is just coming up to a nice, comfortable seat. Set the hips back. It's going to be here for about two or three breaths. We're going to come into a seated forward fold. My legs are feeling a little tight, so I'm going to bend my knees. Mm. And just round. Grab whatever you can. From here, can you send the breath to your upper back, right? The back of your body. Slowly lift. Slowly lower all the way back. Last little bit is an inversion. Now, my favorite inversion is hips on a block. You do not need a block. You can simply stay right here and do this, but I like a tiny bit of support. So just like we did in our supported bridge, right? I like the lowest height for this. Shimmy and shake. Legs to the sky. Do they feel weightless? If you have another inversion, maybe a happy baby or a shoulder stand, I offer that up to you. Start to draw the knees in. Mm -hmm. Go of the block. Feet to the sky. Last little bit. Big hug. Chest to thighs. Say thank you, body. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then release. Shavasana. 
Ah, the feet splay open with the arms all by your sides, eyes gently closed, breath. invite you to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you need. If you're ready to start making your way back into, into life, start to wiggle fingers and toes. Reach the arms. Open your mouth and yawn. <sighs> and then draw the knees in nice and tight. Last little hug. Hmm. As you feel ready, find a seat nice and comfy, facing the front. Keep the eyes closed if you can. Sit up tall. For a lot of us, it's easy to move, yeah, easy to go from one pose to the next, right? It feels natural. That's a lot of times how we live our day to day, right? Constantly moving. And for a lot of us, stillness is hard. We come to yoga to practice mindful moving, mindful breath, to be okay being still, to prepare us for this seat. Take a nice deep breath in, bring your hands to your heart. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to prayer. Palms touch right near your heart center. Together we bow. Namaste. Mm. Namaste, my beautiful yogis. Thank you for joining me on your 45-minute flow. Um, more to come, as always. And namaste. I appreciate you. I love you. Share your light with the world. Yeah? See you soon.